Hello everyone. Today's tutorial is all about how you can create a background service that can communicate with your application's activity in real time. There are many ways to create a background service and today I'm going to explain the job intent service class that is introduced in Android SDK version 26. This is a very useful class because it can uh, run on devices running Android O or later or devices running free Android O. So, to start, we would need three main components. A main activity, which is the UI, the main UI we are running, and the service class, and our communication tool between the two, which will be a broadcast receiver. So let's start by creating these three main components. So first I'm going to create a new class, call it simple job tent service and the super class job and tent service. Click OK and implement the methods over here. Here is warning you that it's not registered in manifest, so you need to go to your manifest and register this class. Just type service and you need the permission find job service so that you have permission to communicate with this activity. All right, let's go back here. So we have the service class, main activity. All right, so here the main activity, I have a very simple UI, just a text view, a progress bar, and a button that I intend to start any job from. Um, let's create on click listener to that button to start job. Okay, now I'm going to create this over here. So, um, we said we need a service class, we need main activity, and we need the communication tool, the broadcast receiver. So, we're going to do private broadcast receiver. Um, my service receiver, I'm gonna call it simple new broadcast receiver. Okay, now I will need to register this receiver on create register receiver my service broadcast receiver and I want an intent filter new intent filter um Let's say the action is, let's make the action, action, check, status. Okay. All right. So we we'll make this action over here. We will make this public. Okay. And so here our receiver will receive the status update from the service. And we also need to uh, implement on resume. Override on resume to register the receiver as well. and override on pause to unregister the receiver. Always surrounded by try and catch. Unregister receiver. Okay, 
and we might need on destroy as well. On destroy. Do I register the receiver? All right. Okay. So so far. We have this function here to um, initiate the job and now we are going to um, go back to our um, service class and let's create a function which is explained here in this example. Uh, let's create this function, which is a convenience function to enqueue a work for this service. So we need the job ID. Okay. Okay. So, and um, over here, we need. So um, the on handle work function is the function where all um, the job will be executed, and um, after being called from any queue work. So in this example in documentation, um, they are creating um, they are simulating a work. So we are going to copy that. Let's copy it and paste it here. Actually, we don't need that for our example. And uh, let's um let's implement this. These are just um the on destroy methods, so we know the work is being completed. And here we have a handler so that we can make toast. Okay. So all right. So we have the service ready. Now we need to tell it what to do. So we go back to our main activity and over here let's call this class simple oh what's okay simple job channel service dot work and we pass in the context and we pass in the intent to tell the service what it needs to do. So we do new intent and um, let's set the that set action let's do the action um, do stuff so we're gonna create this action over here A new public action do stuff Okay, so we sent the work to our service over here. So the work will be sent over here, the intent, and we will receive it here on handle work. Now, let's say we got the um, work to do. So what we do is if Intent that get um, action doesn't equal to null. Okay, we're gonna do switch um, intent get action, and the case first case is the action um, do stuff. Oh, action do stuff. Wait. Um, yeah, do stuff. So, here, or are you telling me to import that from inactivity? 
Great. Okay, in action do stuff, we're gonna do our stuff. Let's say we have like a hundred stuff to do. Okay, so we're gonna do the stuff to do over here. We're gonna sleep just um like fifty milliseconds. Another fifty milliseconds. Alright. And Okay, so we have 100 stuff to do. Each stuff takes 50 milliseconds, let's say. So after the stuff is done, uh, we need to send the update back to the main activity through the broadcast receiver. So let's create a bundle, bundle, a new bundle. Do bundle, done. Let's put int. The key is the status, any key, and the data is, let's put our current um, um, index of the process, let's put i. Okay, and then let's send broadcast. Uh, we do new intent, new put, uh, yeah, put extras. Um, let's do the intent. Let's set the action of the intent. Um, let's do set action. Action. Check. Status. Dot put extras. And we're going to put the bundle. The data. Okay. So we have this ready. We go back to our main activity and we will receive the result over here on receive. So on receive, we're going to update our uh, text view and progress bar. Let's do text view, let's set text. Uh, let's make sure the intent is not null. If intent.get extras doesn't equal to null. Then we do let's do um, int status equal ten get extras dot get integer and the key we set status and let's set the default value at like zero and now text view dot set text string value of status and let's do like concatenated with like hundred percent so let's do it here and do a progress bar dot set progress status um and immediate okay now our app should be ready we can run the app And see here, we're going to do start job and starting the job, doing the job. Even if we exit the application and go back, still doing the job. Over here, job is complete. And you can start another job after that. So exit, go back to application and still doing the job. So that was our tutorial today. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe um, for more tutorials. I'm going to put this link into the description. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.